we've seen some tremendous historical settings come out of the Assassin's Creed franchise. The first ones that come to mind instantly when we talk historical backdrops are the Renaissance era in Assassin's Creed 2 and the American Revolution in AC3. And these are two amongst many other such examples of history seamlessly intertwining with fiction. Going back centuries to explore and experience a certain time period in the most interactive and often educational ways has been one of the marquee aspects of this great franchise. Or had been since we are now visiting Asgard and Atlantis. Well, they clearly missed the turn they had to take 15 miles back. But when we think about the Golden Age, and yes, to anyone who says that we are in the Golden Age now, let me clarify that it was between 2009 and 2014. We realize how big of a part history played in the games back then. It was like past was the first layer of the construct of the game. Everything else is made in a way where it seamlessly fused with history. But with that being said, there is one historical setting that has been almost criminally ignored by the developers. One that has the potential to supersede everything Assassin's Creed has achieved so far. One that has the perfect era for Assassin's Creed written all over it. That's right, the World War II. You can be a lover of the new gen Assassin's Creed games or a die-hard fan of the old ones, but either way, one thing stands true that the higher the stakes, the better the outcome. Take the paradigm shift in the power in Assassin's Creed 3 or the end of the reign of the mighty Julius Caesar in Origins. The stakes were higher than ever. One wrong move, one lost battle and history as we know it would have been vastly different. And that would also be the main reason why the Second World War is the perfect backdrop for an Assassin's Creed game. Because the struggle for power was at its peak during the time, and the world was in complete chaos and add to that the fact that millions of lives were in danger and had been wiped off of the face of the earth. Although it's truly unfortunate what transpired during this time, but can you deny that one assassin traveling the world to stop the Nazis from committing genocide and taking the world for themselves doesn't feel like the perfect storyline to make not only the greatest Assassin's Creed game, but also give birth to perhaps the greatest assassin to have ever donned the robes. I know that it's almost cliched at this point because there are already many movies about the same topic and a few games too. Like Call of Duty World at War, but there are two main reasons why it could work. First, it's not like Ubisoft has any problems repeating or taking ideas from entertainment products that already exist. For example, God of War Ragnarok. And second, this one is worth the effort and is more fitting than most of the fictional adaptations throughout the years, so why the hell not? Food for thought, my friends. Food for thought. And now begins my fictional story. It's just a piece of work from my imagination, but bear with me. We've seen it all already. Men and women losing parents, loved ones, children, friends and family to circumstances beyond their control, which marks the start of a journey which leads them to the assassins and the rest as you know it is history. But. What if for once we see a man with all of his family intact, all his loved ones still alive, fighting to save his home against one of the most brutal regimes in history, a man who is a generational assassin trained by his father to become the ultimate killing machine. It would be nice to witness a change of pace for once, because with the exception of Black Flag Rogan Syndicate, the origin stories seem to remain pretty much the same. The protagonist loses someone they love, mostly parents to the evil Templars, and you know the rest of the story. Although the formula is tried and tested, wouldn't it be nice to see something never seen before in Assassin's Creed and our noble hero doesn't even have to be from America because honestly that would just be hollowed levels of cliche. I feel the perfect fit for a World War II Assassin's Creed hero would be an African German man because it would be almost poetic if someone rises from the same place as evil did and crushed it. A man with his family and his brotherhood backing him who isn't alone in the fight. Someone who isn't afraid to step into a Nazi concentration camp and burn the place to the ground while simultaneously saving and recruiting people to further the cause. With the technology of today Day and even decent effort, it could easily be the best setting for making stealth scenarios and also including some sandbox elements while our hero rescues hundreds if not thousands. I know my dreams are getting too ambitious at this point, but hey, why stop now, huh? The whole thing could start when some of the friends of our assassin are captured while on a mission and are taken to a concentration camp. The protagonist, who's still a trainee in the assassin order, takes it upon himself to rescue his friends and goes against direct orders from his father, who could be a high-level assassin if not the mentor and enters a dead deadly camp, which is dark, full of death and misery. And on that one cold night, the young assassin goes on a stealth rampage. I know it's contradicting stealth and rampage in the same sentence, but it sounds so cool. So I'm gonna let it hang, I guess. Guard after guard disappears into the arms of death and the man delivering all of them, our unsung hero. And after rescuing dozens of members of the Brotherhood of Germany, the man of the hour wins not only the hearts, but the confidence of the higher-ups and proves his mettle. His story could go anywhere from there. But what I 
would like to see particularly would be more than one, two or even three countries in the game. See, it's a good bit of fun exploring Greece or Norway in its entirety, but it would be an absolute treat visiting 1940s Berlin, Tokyo, Frankfurt, Leipzig, Warsaw, all in ruins due to the war. And every location has an effect on our assassin and makes him more and more focused on severing the head of the serpent, aka Hitler. And that's a nice segue to talk about the antagonist. Who better than a mass murdering psychotic son of a bitch was probably the most hated man in the world at one point. You know, Hitler is almost a perfect fit to be a Templar. And you know, a lot of aspects of Crawford's Starek were modeled around Hitler. And this Nazi villain could be the perfect nemesis for our hooded hero. At this point, I truly wish Ubisoft watched my video and did something about it. Because even though I wouldn't pat my own back and call my story the best, because I know it's not, I can tell you with all the confidence in the world that it's better than what we've been getting in the past few years. Much better, in fact. So, how could or rather should the story progress? In my opinion, which is actually what the entire video is, an extended opinion, story should be multi-layered. It can be linear, I have no problems with that. It even goes well with the realism such a setting would entail, but it cannot be one-dimensional, the likes of which we see in most games these days. It would be perfect if there are characters like Haytham Kenway, who I know is too good to be anything but top-tier full-blown antagonist, that makes you question what side you want to be on. But you know what I mean. We want to see characters that feel human and aren't portrayed in black and white, which is what we see most of the times. And the story too needs to have many factors like the protagonist's personal struggle to keep his family safe while going against a force such as Hitler, proving to his father that he's worthy, having to choose between taking one life or saving hundreds. You know, like a scenario where either the protagonist kills a target or saves a few hundred prisoners from execution. I really don't want the choice to be in the player's hands, but the choice our hero makes can make such a difference in character development. There are many more such ideas that the developers could explore, like a hero losing a close friend during a mission which drives him towards vengeance only to realize the true purpose of the assassins later on. The protection of humanity, not personal vendetta. And as far as the gameplay is concerned, I even presume I know what's best. What I do know for sure is that the RPG system would not work in such a setting. So yeah. And most importantly, the ending. In the real world, Hitler committed suicide in his underground bunker. But here in our fictional Assassin's Creed world, the story could end in the most satisfactory way ever, where our assassin finally finds a way to infiltrate Hitler's bunker and assassinates him for the genocide, the broken families, all the crimes against humanity and for the sake of his own peace. The picture perfect way to turn history into fiction. The developers could even make some DLCs later on, where our hero hunts down some top level Nazi slash Templar agents like Himmler, Arthur Says and Quart, Ernst Kaltenbrunner, and he doesn't have to necessarily kill all of them himself in said DLCs. He can have the assassins capture them to bring them to justice. That'd be a cool idea to explore as well. I know these are just pipe dreams of an old school Assassin's Creed fan, but for what it's worth, I've tried my best to make a story that I know will probably never be made. But even if it captures the imagination of a few more people like myself and entertains a few others, I'll be more than happy because that's really all we could do. Come up with our own fictional stories because clearly Ubisoft isn't concerned anymore. They've moved on to bigger and not necessarily better things. You know, a game like this could really capture the true essence of Assassin's Creed and bring back not just old fans, but get the new ones interested as well. If done right, it's all possible, the likelihood is almost zero. And with that, we reach the end of the video, guys. At certain points, you might have felt that the story could have been different. I'd love to know what you would do with your version of Assassin's Creed World War II. Also tell me in the comment section below what you thought of my story. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Were you at least entertained? I'd love to know all of your thoughts. And if you liked the video, hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more such content. That's it for today. Stay safe, stay strong and stay tuned. It's your boy, VZX. Signing out.